This is Brent with Likens Motorsports. Um, I thought I would do a video on um, how to read bearing types and the results from using different bearings. Um, you may have seen, you know, the part numbers and the lettering on the boxes before. And you're not sure uh, what they mean or, or how to use those. Um, each manufacturer has their own way of, of labeling the bearings and, and what they do. Um, I'm going to basically just single out Clevite this morning and just go over some, some, uh, these are big block Chevrolet rod bearings and, um, just going to go over these part numbers and, and what they do. And then, um, I've got an Oliver rod here and, uh, we're going to try each bearing based on one journal size and I've got uh, a list ready to go and we're going to check the clearances on each of these bearings so that you can see how you can use bearing types and different bearing types to to manipulate your clearances which is what we pretty much have to do on a regular basis and that's why I keep such a large variety of bearings in stock um, so if I'm doing an engine build and you know if I come up with you know, 1,000th clearance, then, then I know what I have to do. Or, you know, if I come up with three and a half thousandths clearance, then, then I know what I have to do. So, um, this first bearing is a Clevite CB743P. This is a P bearing. Um, it's a different material than, uh, the, the H series bearings. And once we open these up, I'll show you what each one of them looks like. But, there's no letter or number or anything after the P. So this is just a standard, uh, standard journal size, big block Chevrolet, uh, rod bearing. And it should be a wider bearing. It's not narrowed. Um, it's not a high performance bearing. It's just a factory, basically a factory replacement. This one is a CB 743 HN1. So it's an H series bearing. It's a high performance bearing. The N means it's narrowed. So for crank journals uh, that have a large radius on the outside, you need a narrowed bearing so that you don't get the bearing into that radius, which would cause a uh, premature bearing failure. The dash one means that it should give you 1000 uh, less clearance than a standard bearing. This is a CB743HXN. Um, again, CB connecting rod bearing 743, which is the uh, number for a big black Chevrolet. H series bearing. X means it gives you 1,000th more clearance. It's an extra clearance bearing. And again, it's a narrowed bearing. This is... Um, a CB743HNK-1. So, um, connecting rod bearing, big watch Chevrolet, H-series, narrowed. K means coated, and 1,000th less clearance. So, the difference between these guys would be, this one should have a little bit less clearance since it's coated. Normally, those coated bearings have uh, several tenths of, of a coating thickness added to them, so that will reduce the clearance. And then lastly, um, this is a CB743HXNDK. I guess they're trying to see how many letters they can stack on the end. But the only difference here is the D means it's for a doweled uh, connecting rod, which most of your aluminum rods are doweled so that uh, when they expand that the bearing wasn't, won't spin. So they have a dowel in the, in the, um, in the rod to keep the bearing from spinning and the bearing has a hole in it to locate it. So for this test, we're going to use this Oliver rod. This is pretty high performance stuff. Uh, these are generally $1,400, $1,500 a set. This is what I use in uh, really, really high performance race engines, uh, pulling truck engines, that sort of thing. This is a, a, a seven inch rod. Big Block Chevrolet Raw Journal. Pretty stout piece. So what I'm gonna do, um, we're gonna start out with this P bearing 
I'm going to get the cap knocked off this and um, I'll show you the bearing and then I'll show you the clearance based off of, I did the, um, did some checking on our uh, 465 cubic inch tunnel port motor yesterday. I still have my mic set from where we did that and I've got my bore mic set to that micrometer. So we'll just be reading differences. So let's get started. Okay, so this is the 743P bearing. You can tell um, it's it's very wide. Let's see. I'll show you how wide it is. It is um, about 890 thousandths wide. So this is for basically factory um rebuild applications just a, a replacement bearing and your bearings are always very dirty out of the box so wash everything that you use as a reminder um, also you'll notice that on p bearings there's not an upper and a lower so you can you can put those in any any different way so we're going to uh, break a rod apart and put these bearings in and check our clearance Okay, bearings are in. You can see how wide these bearings are. They come all the way out to this side almost. Uh, this is the chamfered side of the rod. And um, they come out past where the, the chamfer starts. So they're a pretty wide bearing. So I've got them torqued. Um, Oliver spec is 30 pound feet plus 42 degrees. So that's what we got it torqued at. Got my bore mic. Um, centered and we are at 0023 so with a 743p 0023 alright so I'm wanting to break this rod back down put bearings back in the box and next is we're going to use this h series uh narrowed bearing and 1000th clearance so we'll see what that does okay so these are the um cb743 h and ones first thing you'll notice is um they have upper and lower on them and also you can see the little 001 which you can just eyeball very quickly and see if it's a 1,000th under bearing. When I put a set of calipers on these, they are 835 width, so almost um, almost a 16th of an inch um, narrower. So this is the upper bearing. Goes in. Lower bearing goes in. You can already see how far away we are from, from the chamfer. All right, I'll get this rod torqued up and we'll see what the clearance is. Okay. So, one thou and about four tenths on, on that bearing. So, the difference between the standard P bearing and the one thou tighter clearance is pretty much almost exactly one thou. So, we're doing good so far. Or the bearing manufacturer is doing good so far so i'm going to put these bearings back in the box and next is going to be 743 hxn and um, i won't take time to measure the bearing or anything like that uh, the width of it and um, we'll, we'll get it swapped out and get the clearance checked okay 743 hxn
three thousandths, three tenths. Everything's going as planned so far. So next one will be this uh, HNK one bearing. And you'll notice right off the bat, it's a coated bearing. They have a, a dark gray or a black um, coating to them. This is what I prefer to use in most of the engines that I build. So let's get our rod swapped back over. All right, this is the 743 HNK1. So about six tenths clearance. So it's logical, this was an HN1. 014 and we're saying that the coated bearing takes a little bit more clearance away so we're at 0006 so obviously we would never run a bearing clearance that tight but we're just seeing how they are relative to one another all right so we're gonna have one more to do and i'll get the rod swap back over okay this is the last one 743 hx ndk D means um, dowled. You can see the, the hole for uh, if you were to run an, uh, a dowel and aluminum rod. And one last bearing check. Got to be careful not to let the anvil run into the dowel hole. So we're at 2 thou, 9 tenths. and nine tenths so basically um, this would have been our extra clearance without the coating we were at 0033 then here is extra clearance with the coating so um, 0029 so we closed it up by about four tenths. It's interesting that you don't always get um, a direct correlation. So between this one and this one, we lost quite a bit of clearance, but between this one and this one, we only lost about a half thou. So this is typically what I see, um, you know, about a half thou drop. I think uh, Calico says that their bearing shells have, each shell has about two tenths of a coating on it so I'm not really for sure what was going on here but um, this is this is typical results so um, a couple other things we can say um, different so this is all relative to cleavite um, you can also get some different results from different bearing manufacturers so you know it's not uncommon for me to switch from a cleavite to a federal mogul to a king or something like that just to manipulate these clearances a little bit. Uh, on some engine families, you don't have all of these nice bearing choices to, to choose from. So on a standard journal, Ford FE, uh, you really don't have much at all. Uh, you basically just have a couple of manufacturers. You don't have all the ones. And um, if you want it coated, you know, I, I usually send um, buy the bearings in and then send them out to calico and have them coated um, if you get to a point where your engine family does not have you know a lot of choices then you essentially have to manipulate the crank journal itself um, and and try to gain clearance you know by polishing or or even grinding the journal down to get the clearance you need so i hope this helps um, it's nice to see all this laid out so that you can see what does what and, and to also know what each each lettering does um, from the manufacturer. So as always, um, you know, I want to put out material that helps guys at home to, to be better uh, builders at home. 
and I hope I've done that. So, um, again, uh, hit the like button. Uh, I ask everyone to subscribe, and um, thank you for, for watching my channel. Have a good evening. Okay, I just want to do um, just a, a real quick video. Just, I would say most engine builders have this kind of bearing selection um, to choose from, just in case you're going through an engine build and you want to see what different bearings do. And um, I've got all mine labeled. Uh, small block Chevrolet, small journal, small block Chevrolet, different bearings. This is some FE stuff, coated stuff. Main bearings, all FE stuff. Uh, King, 559 AM, Federal Mogul. Um, some of the FE blocks use Cleveland stuff. This is a Cleveland 1010 H bearing. So, 302, main bearing set, coated, um, 351 Windsor. So, it's nice to have a, a nice bearing selection to choose from when you're mocking up bearings. So, you don't have to wait on, you know, your supplier to send you bearings. All right, I'm really done for good this time. This is Brent, Likens Motorsports, and I'll catch you next time.